2.9 Expo Cycle, a deck that has not seen the privilege of usage on top ladder for eons, a deck that is simply unviable due to its weakness in the current meta and lack of synergy, an Expo Cycle deck that has not been touched by majority of Expo Cycle players in years due to them favoring other variations such as 3.0 Expo Cycle, Icebo, or the more recent LP Rocket deck. Is this deck even remotely usable, or will it just be tossed aside forever, never to be used again? Well, the answer to that question is actually no, it is not useless, because Betfus, a gem amongst the Expo Cycle player base, one of the best Expo Cycle players of all time, actually finished top 13 in the entire world by reaching top 10 during the final hour of the latter season. Last season, by using this very deck, 2.9 Expo Cycle with the Ice Golem, not 3.0 with the Knight, not Little Prince Rocket, but 2.9 with Ice Golem. So in today's video, I'll be playing the same deck, 2.9 Expo Cycle, and taking it for a spin, because this is the legacy of Expo Cycle. It is the first ever Expo deck that was widely popularized and used en masse amongst the player base, and it just holds a very special place in my heart, being the first deck that I used to ever get any kind of challenge badges such as grand challenges, uh, global tournament finishes, and it was the successor, or rather the predecessor of 3.0 Expo Cycle where we replaced the Ice Golem with the Knight. Now I am running it with the Evo Archers Evo Tesla, running the exact same variation that Betfus himself used in the last ladder season. I'm also using Electro Spirit just because it is so much better than Ice Spirit in the current meta. There's a lot of Night Witch, a lot of little Prince, you know, Bombers, Firecrackers, it helps against all of those. And uh, I do see this deck traditionally used with Ice Spirit of course, and Ice Spirit does also hold a very close place in my heart, but unfortunately it's just not really viable in the current meta, even though I always thought 2.9 would always use Ice Spirit, even though uh, Ice Spirit might be better, just because the Ice Golem does provide that utility of, you know, Death Nova and splashing stuff, but anyways, the reason I feel like this deck kind of fell off is because the meta shifted to a lot of beatdown type decks quite a few years ago, this was back in 2020 actually, uh, and it's funny because I remember it being during the COVID pandemic where around March of uh, 2020, it was when this deck actually started being changed to 3.0 because there was a heavy RG Earthquake meta and Royal Giant was simply not winnable with Ice Golem compared to using a Knight instead because a Knight does counterattack. And that just kind of stayed as the trend for the following years to come. It's 2024 and 3.0 is still one of the most popular Expo decks in the game with 2.9 being used only by Expo enjoyers, I'd say. Like, you know, people like myself who just absolutely love this archetype and want to pay homage to its origins. But it's never used in the sense that you actually want to use it because it's actually viable and it'll give you success in the game. It's mainly just because it's for fun and for the legacy. But again, Betfist did prove everyone wrong by using it to crazy success on top ladder last season. I actually have no idea how he did it. He was beating decks like Royal Giant Monk, Giant Void, and I, I, I just don't understand. Even beating the LP Rocket Cycle deck, which is literally a hard counter to any Expo version, let alone 2.9, one of the weakest, if not the weakest one in the meta right now. But I'm into my next match. I'm playing a challenge right now. I'm currently 7-0 undefeated. Going for the 12 win. And we're against Logbait once more. So I'll talk a bit more about the game. I just wanted to give a little intro to the deck and its uh, context in the game and the meta. As an Expo lover myself, of course. I did not do my standard Hey Guys SK here intro, you guys might have noticed. And I did this before in my last 2.9 video as well. I just thought it was fun. So decided to do it again. But we are going to get a nice mini lock here as he goes for the Princess Bridge. Pretty annoying, but I'll just go for the Archers to hopefully prevent more than one hit from coming down and so log bait is actually a matchup where ice golem does kind of help because you can out cycle it easier you know ice golem does make your four card cycle a little cheaper in the sense that you need four cards to cycle back to uh, one card where say i play an expo then you need to play four other cards to get back to your next expo and two point an expo cycle really embodies the cycle element of this deck because you want to use as many expos as you can in a lot of matchups that tesla i'm just going to go for a tesla of my own to snipe it i think and uh, take it out also cycling to my evo tesla which is very important in this meta actually and a uh, big component of expo cycle decks in general wait does he have a goblin barrel i don't remember if i saw a barrel or not but i did see princess bridge so this might be that same spell cycle deck unless he does have a barrel then i'm grossly mistaken i think i saw a barrel actually i hope i'm not tripping but i'm just gonna cycle my evil archers in the back split them and they'll get value in both lanes as you can see killing the lp even though he does go ability the lp itself is dead and the knight in the left is essentially melted so that was really productive i'd say evil archers 
I was not a believer in them, and yeah, it is going to be standard log bait as I suspected. Just going to go for my E-Spirit to essentially full counter that. And I think I can actually exploit 6, because that Tesla was pretty sus. I mean, he went Barrel, then Tesla. He's definitely low on Elixir, so... Going to go for my Skelly, cycle back to my Ice Golem to tank for this Knight, and also get the Tower on it. And this should be a lock, if not a decent situation. I'll go Evo Tesla. Look at that beautiful Pulse. Going to kill all the Spear Goblins and get me a lock. This is why I was saying Evo Tesla is so huge in Expo, and just a huge proponent of success with this archetype in the meta. Expo is honestly not bad in the meta right now. I always complain about Expo and say, oh, it's so weak, it's bad. And I do still feel like Expo inherently as a card is pretty weak. But I have to admit, Evo Tesla brought this deck to new heights that I never thought were even possible. Because it's just so strong. You saw it right there. It's so good. And that Death Pulse just makes it so good. It's actually going to get nerfed, unfortunately, in the next balance changes. But I mean, I can't say it doesn't deserve it. As much as I love Expo, I can't be that biased, right? So... Yeah. Anyways, log bait. This game is pretty much over again because I feel like Ice Golem just allows you to be more aggressive. What I was making my point earlier with that whole four card cycle deal is that you want to be able to get back to Expos as efficiently as you can. And using 3.0 with the Knight, you just don't have as cheap of a cycle. I mean, obviously, it's not a big difference. It's literally like one elixir. But that one elixir does make a huge difference at the end of the day. Also, great catch on that Guardian going to log the Princess. Look at that beautiful micro to take the. Guardian and LP out and then subsequently just win me the game off of that log. This is why I love 2.9 because if you have good fundamentals with Expo in general, if you have good principles with micro defenses, you can get so much done with this deck and Ice Golem is just so fun. That was two log bait games in a row. That guy did have the LP which makes it a bit harder, but he also had a poison which I don't think we saw the whole game, so that does help us out. Anyways, into our next match against this guy, Mickey... Oat, I don't really know how to say that, just going to swing an archer's first play, as he gives a good luck and the goblin find me, but maybe he recognizes me. I've actually had that happen quite a lot recently, like people in my videos that I play games, like they say wow, or they spam wow, they recognize me, or maybe someone said it might just be my like finishes on my profile. Anyways, we see, do see a giant, oh this is looking so bad guys, I'm going to e-spirit, but doesn't get down in time. Well played comes out, good, okay bro, I, I mean I agree it's a good game if it's giant graveyard, like... This is already a really bad matchup for any Expo variant, doesn't matter what version, Giant Graveyard has traditionally always countered Expo, but 2.9 makes it so much worse because I literally just made a point about, you know, beatdown, and like RG rather being the meta, and you kind of need, oh no he has an LP, oh I, I like tried to just instantly get my Expo down, but unfortunately it's not going to work out. I think I could have gone Ice Golem really high, but I wanted to play it a little low so it wouldn't just to switch over to his side and die to the dagger, you know what I mean? But I mean, this is looking very, very rough right now. Um, again, as I said, you, we use the knight to counterattack, and you can kill stuff like uh, Royal Giant, DPS it down. Ice Golem does not attack anything, it simply serves as a tank, and that doesn't actually do anything in Shine Graveyard. There's nothing you want to tank for. You literally just need to DPS everything. You know, Fisherman, Knight, even as Archers, like every single card, and the Graveyard itself, Knight would be better than Ice Golem again. So this is... Looking really bad. I mean, he has LP, he has Giant, he has Evo Knight. I genuinely do not see any way I'm going to break through in this game. And it, it might be over, man. Like, honestly. Uh, which is, again, another weakness of 2.9. I mean, I'd say I can definitely win this matchup with LP Rocket, the current best deck in the meta. One that I finished number 256 in the world with last season. Just because it does so well at having an alternate win condition. You know, I can't break through Giant Graveyard, but I can still try. And if I do somehow get myself a nice little lock... I can switch to the Rocket Cycle win condition, whereas 2.9, you have Fireball Cycle as an option, which is actually pretty viable in a lot of matchups, but in this kind of matchup, it's not, because they spam Giant Graveyard aggressively. Speaking of which, here's an Evo Knight Graveyard push. I'm gonna go for the late log and then Skellies. Honestly, good defense of the Graveyard. I'll go Archers just to be safe as well. Yeah, I think I needed those. I would have taken like maybe two or three more hits. Um, and we're actually in the lead by 4 HP right now, or 6 HP rather, but he's gonna go Giant the Bridge. I'll go Evo Tesla, it'll reset everything. I can also go Eastward, maybe get a mini lock, guys, hold up. No, he gets the Fisher down in time. Oh, if I got that off, I would've been so happy, but he had arrows anyway, like, he would've been fine. Um, I really did try my best. I guess I'll go it again, I mean, he doesn't have Giant back in cycle, so... This is potential. Nah, he has a knight, though. This is why it's such a bad matchup, dude. He has giant as his main counter. Then if that doesn't work out, he has LP with the ability to just fully shut down the expo. If that doesn't work out, he has a knight. Let alone a possible evo knight. Like, I, I just... I, I, I don't know. I don't know how to do this, honestly. But I'll still try. I think you have to be super aggressive. And in single, especially, is the key. Honestly, next time, I might just play my ice golem really high, even though I don't think it worked out that well. Um, like, or it might not have worked out that well. It probably would have been better than 
uh, what happened there, whereas LP just full countered my entire expo. Going to pre-Tesla, not much I can really do. Need my Evo Tesla to do well. I'm going to go Expo and then Evo Archers, but this is why I don't really like Evo Archers too much in the meta, because they do just die to arrows, unfortunately. Like, I'm going to DPS this giant down really well, right? But then he has arrows to just kill them. And wait, does he not have arrows? Did he just use them? Why is he not playing them? He plays them now. I'll go in, but unfortunately, he should have something in cycle, like whether it's a knight or a giant. Like, see, like I, out I did my best, dude. I outcycled the giant, outcycled the LP. Then he just has an Evo Knight to, you know, fully defend him. I was gonna go graveyard with the Evo Knight most likely, cause yeah, I can literally name every play he's gonna make, but I still can't do anything about it, cause I just can't break through in this matchup, dude. It's so tough. Anyways, log E Spirit, pretty good at cleaning up the graveyard though. Look at that beautiful E Spirit value, even though he snowballed. If I didn't have E Spirit there, I might have taken like a thousand damage or something, but. I still just think it's over, dude. I also try my best, as I've been saying, but it's so tough to break through in this matchup. I'll go Archers, Ice Golem, Skellies to tank, and then I can log an E-Spirit late. That's the main way to go when you defend these graveyards. Also have to go for my Evil Archers. Unfortunately, don't want to do it, but I have no choice. Can't take that damage. I'm gonna go in now, and I think I have to Tesla Bridge as well. Even though he's gonna go Giant, like, I just have to DPS it down. So Ice Golem to protect my Evil Archers. They're gonna get a lot of value, and he actually wastes his arrow, so I can go in in the left now, you know, doing a little ping pong with my Expos. Going in the right then the left. Now we're going in the right again if this doesn't work out. Uh, we're going to protect this very heavily. That is a fireball. Yo, I make it a lock? No, I guess a giant down in time, so not a lock, but I'll go in, in the right again. I think I don't have a choice. Yeah, I'll go in, in the right right about now um, and see if I can make something happen. Tesla. Okay, goes for the knight. I'll scale to DPS down the giant. Log plus Esper for the archers. Please, I need something. Archers for the graveyard. We get a lock. Hold up. We have a lock on the tower. Let me fireball as well. And I'm defending the graveyard perfectly. No, dude, I got the fireball down and it wasn't enough. He got his archers down anyway, but that's such a bad matchup. That was a heartbreaking ending, honestly. I mean, I'll give him the good game. It's not like he was a bad sport, but that just hurts. That honestly just hurts. I did my best, though. You, I literally did my best. And this is, again, why I think 2.9 does struggle in the meta. Because that Ice Golem just hurts you. With that, with how close I got at that time, you know? I had that so close, literally. That was, like, within a fireball range. Although he got arrows down, so it wouldn't have won me the game. But, um... I definitely would have won that with a knight, I feel. You know, I would have had a knight to actually DPS stuff down instead of Ice Golem being kind of useless. Anyways, into our next one. Let's try and move on. There's always going to be hard counters. Fact of the matter is, Betfus was doing it, you know, top 13 in one of the worst metas for this deck, I feel, which is pretty much every meta, though. Like, it's just really rough. But if he's doing it, I can't complain too much, right? Anyways, going to get a nice log, take the giant out, wizard will die to the duchess, and... We're going to have a pretty good sequence. I've outcycled the giant and the knight now. You know, we just forced out both of those. So I could probably go win again. I think I'm two off an expo. So I'll go e-spirit for the knight. And yeah, I'm, I'm one off an expo now. So I can go archer's expo. And this should be a pretty good lock. Like, what does he have in cycle? Not much. Although Skelly's to predict an LP or something as well. Ooh, he has void. Okay, let me go. Damn, I didn't react fast enough. Okay, really bad ice cold. I'm just got voided. But we still got a couple hundred damage. But yeah, this is the meta, guys. Giant, void, arrows, rage. Uh, so, one giant deck into another. Gonna be tough once more, which is pretty much just the standard at this point. Like, every deck is probably gonna be giant void. Uh, log bait is pretty popular right now, to be honest. It's not a bad deck at all in the meta. Maybe some lava. I'd love to face lava void, because I think it's actually one of the better matchups for this deck in the current meta. And also, it's actually pretty usable. Um, against that deck. Also, I am pretty good at the Lava Hunt matchup. Great archers, by the way. Pretty bad giant. Like, I literally had archers and he did not have arrows in cycle, so I don't know why he would do that to himself, but he's gonna void. Uh, he's back to void right now, so I might have to catch it with an E-Spirit if I can. That's pretty much the main way to go. I'll catch it. Nah, it wasn't worth it. Damn, dude. Like, I get one tick for my efforts, but that was probably just worth letting die. Void is such good counter to the expo. I know you can react, whatever. But you also can't. Like, you saw he went void arrows on the other one. So even if I blocked with, like, an Esprit or Skellies, they would have gotten clipped by the arrows and then just died. So, honestly, Void is a great counter to expo. And that is why the LP Rocket deck is the best deck in the meta right now, because uh, you have the Rocket Cycle. But 2.9 is all about expo. Like, expo is by far the centerpiece of this deck. Gonna fireball that. Honestly, it does suck to have to fireball an Evil Wizard's shield rather than the wizard itself, but I think I'll just do it anyways. I mean, that was a lot of stuff on the board. And this should die. Yo, he has a balloon. I was not ready for that. Okay. It makes sense why I didn't have a rage, I guess. Sometimes they replace the rage for, like, a balloon. Like, it's kind of wild, but, I mean, it's it's a thing. Uh, but we are back to our Tesla. Other benefit of 2.9, and kind of the beautiful thing about it, actually, is that it has such a fast cycle again. I was making that point, you know, I think the four-card cycle is seven. 
uh, eSpirit Skelly's Log. No, it's six. Oh my god, yeah, it's six. It's like 2.6 hog. You have eSpirit Skelly's Log Ice Golem. With through Panoxo Cycle, it's seven, because you go uh, Spirit, Skelly's Log, and then you have to play either Knight or Archers, so that's seven. So you can get around to your uh, card in six Elixir, which is nuts. Like, that's literally. You play a Tesla, you're at 10 Elixir. You can play six and get back to a second Tesla. Like, you can literally get back to a second Tesla once you're at 10. In, like, literally seconds. So, I don't know. I don't know if that expl explanation made sense, excuse me, but, like, yeah, it's just insane. Anyways, speaking of insane, I've outcycled his stuff pretty well. I don't think he, I don't think he has Giant or Balloon. He does have a Knight, unfortunately, but I'm just going to keep the pressure up a little bit. This is going to be very tough to break through against, honestly. You have a Wizard as well. Yeah, this is not happening, but... Still just trying to pressure, because the big thing about Expo, honestly, even if you don't break through with your Expos, your Expo is used as a pressure tool to force responses out of them, so that they can build a massive push, and I still do think that's an important way to play this deck. Uh, I'll take the Fireball and the Fisherman, it's a bit aggressive, to be honest, but I'm okay. He's probably going to go in in the right now, you know, Giant Loon, which I'm very much expecting, so I'll just go Archers, as I said, I'm back to a Tesla, very fast cycling skills, and I'll go for that right now, and we have the double Tesla setup, guys, look at this, two Teslas on the board, Elon Musk out here, and I can probably go in with this, because why not, I literally have two Teslas, I mean, left one's about to die, but the right one is an Evo Tesla, so, he has an Evo Knight, though, no Evo Wizard, however, so I can get a Fireball on this once the Wizard... Uh, or once the knight gets targeted, excuse me. And that was a really good play, as you can see by me. I think I got a couple ticks on the tower as well. Unfortunately, the void does just invalidate my expo nonetheless, but still, again, pressure just a pressure, right? This is definitely screaming fireball if I can. Definitely want to fireball that, but I think I have to protect my archers first. Okay, maybe not fireballing, actually. That should go all the way to the balloon. Yep, beautiful kiting. As you can see, that's the holy grail setup. You got the expo down, you got the tesla down. Ice golem is back, and I'm just going to have to defend really well now. So let me get a Tesla again. He does void the Tesla, but my Archer's protecting it. Gonna Ice Golem, and as you can see, I'm already back to another Tesla, which I have to play really last minute, but I'm back. Oh, that was clutch, dude. That was a great defense. I'm really proud of that one, honestly, because Giant Void is not easy to play against, and I just defended very well against it, so that was really elegant. Very happy with that, and that's going to be a great win against another Giant deck right after losing to Giant Graveyard. So we take those for sure. Um, let's see what else we get, honestly. I would expect more of the same. More Giant Void, but you know, I'm just doing my best, trying to uh, bring some justice to this Expo deck. The classic, the legacy, the origin story of Expo Cycle. So, Obama, okay, Barack Obama out here, gonna give him the good luck, let's see what's going on. Um, I will start with a log, I think. Ice Golem's not bad on offense, I guess. I think it does get some hits against the Duchess, I might be wrong. I know Mohammed Light was playing Ice Golem in that one Minor Poison deck that he made uh, a couple seasons back where he finished first with, like, Ice Golem, Minor Poison, LP, Evo Zap, and he was using Ice Golem to tank a lot of the Dagger Duchess hits, but I don't think Ice Golem by itself uh, gets much damage on it, actually. I might be wrong, but honestly, it doesn't serve much of a purpose at all in Expo. Like, maybe in 2.6 Hog, you can go Ice Golem to soak up the daggers and Hog to actually get value. But in 2.9, like, you're never crossing the bridge, really. Except maybe with Archers, but everything's so frail. Okay, Giant Void. Here we go, guys. We're gonna have a game. Gonna have to play my best, because this is the meta right now. Giant Void. Uh, Lava Void. Like, Giant everywhere. Getting back to my Archers, though, and I think I'm fine if I go Archers, then maybe need an Ice Golem, too. Nah, I don't. I'm good. Great defense, honestly. And that Phoenix Knockback does keep my Archer alive, which I really like. If I was at 6, I would Expo with these, but I'm not, so I'll just let them go. Honestly, no point in being too aggressive. It's going to be very tough to break through with 2.9 in a lot of these matchups, like Giant Void, Giant Balloon. I don't know if this guy has Balloon or not. Honestly, I'm never used to Balloon. I know it's a thing, but I just don't see it. Okay, he goes Knight the Bridge. I'll just Ice Golem. I don't know what the point of that was. Maybe predicting Expo. I mean, I was considering Expoing, but I wanted to see him play something in the back first. Uh, Knight wish the back. I'll just center Tesla. I'll, I'll put it over by one, in case it is Balloon, actually. And if he goes Balloon in the right, I can go Expo to cut it over. Or, I, as I said, I have the courtesy of a 6 Elixir 4 card cycle, so... I can literally just get back to a Tesla, as you can see. Ice Golem, Archers, I'm already back to an Evo Tesla now. So if he goes Balloon, I'm fine. But speaking of being fine, I'm actually more than happy to go in with this... Oh, he does void me. I'll still go in, honestly. My Duchess is low, but he should be low on Elixir. Yup, great catch. Oh no, I swear that was on the tower, dude. Evo Knight gonna bail him out, but I'll go Evo Tesla. Let's try and melt this Evo Knight and get a lock right now. Come on, Ice Golem does tank against the wizard. Yo, that's gonna be a dead wizard. Hold up, that's gonna be on tower. Nice. And I swear he just voided, so he can't void right away. I, I swear, right? He shouldn't be back. I'll still hover the e in case, but no, it's on tower. Let's go, guys. We just 
got him like that was a great play a uh, big part of expo success as well is knowing when people over commit on offense and then you catch them low on elixir and punish so he gets a free plus three on the bow which i'm not very happy about but at least he doesn't have a void for this push so it should be fine right and i really don't know if he has a balloon or not but that's why i'm just shoving my tesla's over by one in case he does because you really can't be too safe um yeah, this should be a good, nice defense. I don't need to log, I don't think. That shouldn't respawn. Then I go for a low Tesla, no balloon looks like. Beautiful win, guys. Honestly, flawless game against Giant. I'm very happy of that one. Like, I just pressured. And if I if the game wasn't over, I would have just gone, like, Expo to cut the Giant over even further. Wouldn't have been too deep. But if I didn't punish him, if he didn't give me that opportunity to break through, and, you know, just, like, really make him regret overcommitting like that, it looks like it was not balloon, by the way. Um... But yeah, if he didn't do that, then I probably would have just defended perfectly the whole game and tried to win by spell cycle. I think that's the goal. Into our next game against Noah here. Let's see what he's going to be running. Um, I don't know what to start with. Like, I cycle Ice Golem is okay. Okay, I'll just Expo because it's a cycle deck. Expo is a pretty risk-free play. Like, we'll see what he does. Knight. Okay, Evo Knight, Skelly's Ice Spirit. Still doesn't tell me too much about the deck because this kind of, like, archetype is common. No, the Skelly tank. Dude, that garden wasn't spawned yet. That would have been... A lock. Yo, he has a fireball. Are you are you kidding me? This might be an expo mirror match, guys. I can't believe my eyes. I think we actually have an expo mirror match, though. He says a good game. I mean, I'd say good game for him. He has knight, which is better. He has evo knight, doesn't he? Excuse me, I have hiccups out of nowhere for some reason. He has evo knight, doesn't he, though? Like, I hope I don't hiccup again. I'm also trying to focus on the game, man. But he has evo knight, which is going to make it really tough, because, I mean, this matchup... Okay, he has expo tesla... Uh, gonna Skelly's in the corner to protect my archers in case he logs, and then Ice Golem to protect as well. As you guys can see, great play. He went for a good log on the archers, but, uh, couldn't hit the Skellies with that. Then I did protect my one archer with the Ice Golem. So Micro is everything with this deck again. Micro is literally king. You have to do well, and, uh, know exactly what you're doing. Like, that was a pretty tense situation to defend against, but I was able to get it done just with good defense. Now I'm gonna go in again because he spent a lot on that, and I feel like I can catch him right now. Knight, I think it's worth going Tesla. He doesn't have Tesla yet. LP, that's a great counter. But it's on the Tesla, hold up. I'm gonna log that. Then E-Spirit, um, I'll get a mini lock, right? Yeah, maybe I should've gone E-Spirit Skellies, but I thought, like, it wouldn't really work out. We get a huge lock, actually. Great punish by me. And we are up against, literally, Evo Knight LP, so I think he has a pretty big advantage against me, guys. Like, my... Evil Archers are good in the Expo Mirror, but he has Fireball, so that just invalidates Evil Archers if he wants to. He goes for an Expo. Let me Ice Golem opposite lane this time. And Archers over here. He goes Tesla, predicting my own Tesla, I guess. But I'll go Evo Tesla. Not in range of his own Tesla. And that will... Yup. Pulse melts the Skellies. And he goes for a really bad Evo Knight. I don't know what that was at all. I'll go Skellies E-Spirit. You guys, this is like a play I love making against Knight. Because I know a lot of people just like let it walk up and then respawn. But I like to get the daggers on it as early as I can. So you'll see as soon as I cross the bridge, I get Skellies on it or I get an Ice Golem on it. That's kind of my strategy. Look at that, by the way. Tesla Pulse. Double Pulse. The X was already at half HP. That was like a one-third HP Tesla. I think, honestly, Evo Tesla is a little bit too overpowered. Even though I love it, like, I can see why it's getting nerfed. Um, but that's it at Expo. I can just go in. Plus, I have Evo Archers now, so I'm totally just going to cook right now. Ice Golem, Evo Archers to melt that LP real quick. and Or melt the Tesla, in fact. Goodbye, Tesla. Goodbye, LP. Goodbye, Guardian as well, possibly. Like, Log Skellies to protect. Goodbye, Knight. I'll Fireball as well. That Knight's going to get melted. Dude, this is insane. Like, I'm actually playing so well. I can't believe it. That was a beautiful Expo Mirror match. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. We kind of just cooked. Like, I feel bad because, you know, he's a fellow Expo player, but it's also 2.9. Like, this does not really beat any other Expo version. I guess it beats 3.0, like, if they don't have an Evo Knight. But Evo Knight should really help you out in the Expo Mirror match a, a lot, so I think that was just a great win. Honestly, Noah does kind of sound familiar to me. I did face, or not face, I was friends with a guy called Noah. Like, many years back, when I was pretty bad at the game, I had, like, uh, maybe... Uh, like one grand challenge, I was on my grind for 10 grand challenges, and I was like, uh, you know, getting up there, getting my name known now, like nothing like right now, and uh, there was an expo player called Noah that was I was friends with, I don't think that's the same guy, but he was also Japanese, so I don't know, anyways, into a game against Bella, really like the word Bella, honestly, and the name, I think it's a really cool 
sounding thing overall, but we see LP Knight, or rather Princess Knight, probably Logbait again. I'll go Archers to predict. Yup goes for the gang, so great Archers, and then we force out a Rocket. I feel like those Archers were very aggressive, but with 2.9, honestly, you do want to be that aggressive. Like, you literally do, because that's how you win with this deck. And I, I've seen Betfist play this deck, uh, especially in past videos, like I've done collaborations with them before. Also, Great Ice Golem does catch the Princess as well, so serving its purpose. And I'll just go for a Tesla on this princess even though i don't really want to waste it while i'm like not that high on elixir i think i just got a tesla that so i will and i can actually expo with it now i don't think he's back to rocket he should be at least like two cards off right because uh oh yeah skellies he's back for sure or like one card and he's back now because yeah knight i can still respond if he like tries to pull some non rocket strats on me but yeah basically guys the key in the log bait matchup is to try and catch them when they defend your expo without a rocket because honestly they can defend your expo very easily without using rocket but you can still try and outplay them like you know catch the tesla on your expo maybe fireball something last second like a knight to kill it and early and like get them uh to get surprised also very important log bit matchup because he's back to princess now as well i'm pretty sure is uh playing troops in the middle also oh, really bad ice golem that's a play i used to love to make by the way like ice golem the tank for one archer obviously execution was terrible there though but i'll take a fireball on the princess nonetheless he still went for the um princess anyways and he goes evo skelly so he has like does he have e-spirit i'm not sure but this looks like a relative oh he shouldn't have e-spirit right because he has the gang but i'll go fireball on the barrel i think i had to go like log on offense there just because, I mean, that was a pretty scary uh, set of Evo Skellies. I didn't want to mess around with either of them. I'll go Expo Middle right now just to prevent him from getting a rocket on either one of my archers. Oh, look at this, guys. Okay, Inferno is on the bow, but I still do DPS it down with my archers. I'll go Archer's E-Spirit to try and protect even more. Unfortunately, we're not going to get anything out of that. We do get an E-Spirit chain in the right, though. But I want to go in again. I'll Ice Golem to predict a Princess right now. Maybe we can catch him. Uh, but... Still, I'm always on the lookout for Princess Bridge. That's what you guys have to know. And yeah, this matchup is pretty rough, I'd say, with Evo Knight and Evo Skellies. Definitely gonna have to fireball that, unfortunately, but it's fine. Um, but I'm still trying my best, and I have a really fast cycle, so... I could probably outcycle his Rocket, even though he has a really fast cycle, too. Like, I think he has, what, Knight, E-Spirit, Log... Actually, his cycle isn't that fast, since he only has one cycle card in the Skeletons. We get, like, a couple ticks there. One tick, damn. I'm going to have to, like, probably spell cycle him out, but I think I can win this if I do my absolute best. Going to spell cycle right now, fireball him out, and then Skelly's for a princess. Yup, caught him. Let's go. I knew he was going to do that. Let me, uh, Archer's... Uh, I could have gone, like, Archer's Spirit, or Archer's in the middle really fast and then gone to catch that, but... Nah, going to Tesla. That's going to unfortunately hit my tower, so basically the fireball damage is gone. Uh, he got a princess hit on the tower, but still, I'm in the lead by a little bit, as you can see. Gonna log this for sure, then I'll just archers on the barrel, and hopefully take no hits. We take, like, one stab. This is tough, though, but I'll set up another Tesla, I think. Look at my Tesla city out here. But you can see I'm just trying to use Evo Tesla as much as I can. Now I'm gonna fireball tower. Ooh, that princess is dead, dude. Look at this Evo Tesla, dude. That card is crazy. I'm actually gonna go in because that Tesla put in overtime value of work. And now he's going to have to go rocket on this, otherwise he's in trouble. Now, nah, he has Evo Knight, so he's fine, actually. But look at Ice Golem doing its thing against Evo Skellies, too. Nice, caught the Princess again. Let me just log plus Skellies for the Knight. Again, just DPS the Knight down. And he was not ready for that. Look at that, guys. That's a lock. That is game right there. Beautiful win against Log Bait. Pretty tough matchup, I'd say. But I played really well, and he did not play very well as well. But my strat against Knight really does work. I like to make it cross the bridge, and then instantly get, like, Skellies or Ice Golem on it or something to get it DPS down. I don't like wasting all the daggers and then having like a very healthy evo knight coming down you know what i mean so i think that's important but that's going to be a 12 win with 2 point expo cycle again guys the legacy of expo lives on i was really inspired to make this video after posting my bet video which you guys should definitely check out if you want to see some cracked expo cycle gameplay but uh yeah this was a lot of fun that's going to be a very nice 12 win i don't really expect much out of this chest to be honest like it's it's just a 12 win classic challenge chest it's nothing that serious i sometimes get awesome rewards like i think i got a legendary for my last uh 12 classic challenge but still our only loss was giant graveyard which i don't feel bad about at all i mean it's a terrible matchup I also beat RG Monk, by the way, like, that was crazy. And I beat Expo Rocket, like, this was... I was proud of this. Look at my clean Classic Challenge log as well. That is awesome. But yeah, that's 2.9 Expo. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and had a lot of fun. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I will see you in the next one.